Today I want to be very explicit on the difference between causation and association. Now, we saw this last video, but this time I want to be very explicit right before we dove into what the true assumptions are in the ideal random experiment. So consider a population. Uh, so this population I will represent with this little circle here. So some individuals in our population are treated. Uh, these will be the red individuals. I'll just label them treated. And some individuals in this population, uh, not necessarily half, a little bit more than half, are going to be untreated. So these are the untreated ones. We don't necessarily know how they did get treated. Maybe it was random, maybe it wasn't. It doesn't really matter in this case uh, because we are interested in exploring causation versus association. So on one side, I'm going to go ahead and explore causation, uh, causation. And on this other side, I'm going to explore association association. Uh, so we know from the previous video that causation is necessarily uh, what is the treatment's effect? What is the treatment's true effect on an individual in the population? So going to a hospital is probably a good effect. It's a curative effect. Association on the other side is how are the outcomes related to the treatment or the untreatment? So for example, in hospitals it's very likely to have unhealthy people so hospitals are associated with being unhealthy, though they might not be causing the unhealthiness to begin with. Okay, let me give you a nice visual representation. So causation in the ideal world, we would be comparing the entire population that would be treated minus the entire population that is untreated. And this way we would learn the true causal effect. We'd see what happened when we were treated and then the counterfactual, what happened when we were untreated. Association is slightly different. What association does is it instead compares the part of the population that was treated versus the part of the population that was untreated. So you might see the difference now. Causation, in effect, compares apples to apples. It compares one full population to that same full population. Association doesn't necessarily do that. Instead, these subpopulations, the population of the treated, might be very different from the population of the untreated. For example, the population of people that are at hospitals tend to be much, much sicker than the population of people that aren't at hospitals. And so for this very reason, causation doesn't necessarily equal association. We will see under certain assumptions, which we'll get to next time, causation does equal association. And they are in practice typically fairly rare. So stay tuned.